Hi all, this is Anjali and in this video I will be explaining you how to solve the questions related to constructors and destructors in your 12th board exam for computer science. Now as we have discussed many other questions, as I have told you that question number 2 has 4 parts which consist of 12 marks in total. Out of that you get one question which is based on constructors and destructors and this is for 2 marks. Generally, the question comes like this, that you already have the code, as you can see on the left-hand side window. So, we have this code given and they ask you two questions based on that code. One mark each. So, that's how the question comes every year and it's coming like this since many years. So, there are very less chances that the pattern would change. So, how do we solve these questions? Like you can see here, it's written, answer the question 1 and 2 after going through the following class. Class factory is given where it is car name 20 into workers as data members. Then you have this function 1, function 2. As you can see, this name of function 1 is same as name of the class. So that says that it's a constructor. I'm not having any arguments in the brackets. That means it's a default constructor. Then we have a function details. That's function 2. Then we have factory car fact name int number. This is function 3. Since the name is same as name of the class, you can conclude that this one is also a constructor. And same is the case with this function 4. That's also a constructor. But now tell me which type of constructors are these? This one was default because we didn't have any arguments. This one is receiving arguments of type char and int. Means it's receiving parameters. So this is said to be parameterized constructor. Okay. And the third one, which is function 4 is receiving an object of type factory itself. Thus, this type of constructor is called copy constructor. We don't have a destructor in this code. Okay. This is all which you will think in your mind when you see this code. Okay. I know now what this code is. Now I have to see what question is being asked for this. So question one says, what is function four referred as? Also write a statement which will invoke this function. Okay. So function four is a copy constructor. So you will write down that as the answer. So function 4 is referred as copy constructor. You have to write a statement which will invoke this function. So I write here factory A, I have created an object. Then I create factory B and I pass A in the brackets. And then I write that this is statement 2 and the first one is say statement 1. So statement 1 over here is calling default constructor because that's we're just creating an object normally without passing any arguments but here we are creating B passing A as an argument. So statement 2 is the one which actually invokes your function 4. So here statement 2 invokes or calls function 4. So that's it. That's the answer for part 1. Then part 2 says which concept is illustrated by function 1, function 3 and function 4 together. That means when you have all three type of constructors or even more than one constructor, it may be two. When I have more than one constructor in a class, which concept is shown over here? So it shows the concept called constructor overloading which basically reflects the OOPS concept named polymorphism. So which concept is illustrated? I'll answer like this. Polymorphism is illustrated by function 1, 2 and 3 together. Since implements constructor overloading. So now it depends which constructor will be executed depending upon the number or the type of arguments passed while creating the object. So that's polymorphism or constructor overloading. That's the answer to this. So this question is totally for two marks, right? Then let's take one more example. This is question number two. Again, we have the question as answer the questions 1 and 2 after going through the following class. Then we have class job, which has members as int job ID, care job type. 
Then in public, we have this tile sign job means it's a destructor. This one is a constructor. Function three is tell me to print the values. Function four is receiving an argument of type job itself. So it's a copy constructor. Okay, so that's what I analyze out of the class. Now read the question. Question says, which member function are a function one, function two, function three, and function four shown in the above definition of class job is called automatically when the scope of an object gets over. What is it called? So when the scope of the object is over, destructor is called and that is function one in this code. So we will say that function one is they have asked which member function is called. So we will also use the word called. Function 4 is called automatically when the scope of an object gets over. So function 1 is called automatically when the scope of function gets over. Function 1 is called as destructor. So that's how we write just a sec. Okay, yeah. so we were doing this question 2 of 2 that says job P, job Q, P and the question is asked over here. It says which member function will be called on execution of line 2? What is it specifically called? As you can see, job P creates an object of class job, but it calls the default constructor, as we've done in the first question as well. And this one calls the copy constructor. And the copy constructor is function 4. So here your answer would be that line 2 will call function 4. And function 4 is called copy constructor. That's it. Again, you have given the answers for the two marks. That's yours. So it's simple. Just you need presence of mind. Read the question properly and they're so easy to answer. Okay. Then you have question number 3. Question number 3 says, Again, you have a class, you have to answer the two questions based on that. So we have a class work, worked, work type, and uh, we have a destructor, we have constructors in that. And the first question says, which member function out of the given functions is called automatically when scope of the object gets over, what is it called? It's the same, it's destructor and function one is called. So it's the same answer without any change, not even a single word has to change in this. So it's almost the same answer. Okay, then comes, okay, this is the same question, only the name of the class is different. So that was class job, this is class work. You have the same thing for the second question as well. So that's copy constructor they have asked for. So it's the same thing. Sometimes it might happen this way that they can ask you, what is this function? Like here the copy constructor is defined, the code is written. And in few questions, like in this one only, when we have this first example, they have just declared this function 4. So the question could be asked like, what is function 4 referred as? So we'll say obviously it's referred as copy constructor. Then they can ask you write its proper definition. Now when they ask you to write its proper definition, that doesn't mean that you have to write the definition in words. That means that you have to write the code for that. In that case, if you have to write it, so you'll be writing the class name, scope resolution, name of the constructor in brackets. I have to write factory m f and inside this you have to write the code. The code is that I have to copy the values. So workers should be assigned with f dot workers means the value I receive in this. Then I have to put something in name but strings can't be assigned directly. So we have to write name comma f dot name. So this is what we mean by definition of the copy constructor. So if anyways it's asked define the constructor which is a copy constructor so you have to define this way you don't have to write the definition. 
Okay. So this is how basically we solve the questions related to constructors and destructors, which comes as B part of question number two in your board exams. And it comes for two marks every year in the same pattern. Fine. So I'm going to give the link for both of these files, these questions, plus the answers in the description section below. So you can download that for further references. And if you found this video useful, do subscribe the channel so that I'll be solving more questions like this and uploading it. And if you have subscribed and your bell, that is notification, is on, you will get the instant notifications for the new uploads so that you don't miss anything. It's very important for preparation of your board exam. Till then, keep studying, do well, and don't panic at all. Because if you panic, you forget what you have learned. So don't panic, just read and learn peacefully and happy exams all the best.